Hello students, I am Kashif Ibrahim and uh, we are doing age level computer science uh, assembly language chapter. In previous lessons, we have done, uh, we have tried try to understand, try to recap the concept of uh, computer language uh, in which we have seen high level language and low level language. Then uh, we have revised the concept of translators in which we have seen different types of translators then uh, we came on our topic that was assembly language in assembly language up till now we have seen what is mnemonic uh, source code and object code we have some we have seen some detail then we have seen assembler in assembler we have seen a uh, two pass assembler as given in your book then after that uh, we have seen a number of uh, different types of instructions given in your book then we uh, try to understand and uh, saw it in detail different addressing modes and we have seen that there are um, uh, four important and total six uh, addressing modes given in your book then we saw an example of uh, uh, assembly language program in which uh, we have seen that in high level language uh, where we need to write only one line that line uh, is written in assembly language into a number of uh, mnemonics so we saw this example total is equal to first plus second plus third and uh, this simple uh, code of high level language was converted into six seven eight lines of assembly language in today's class we will try to understand another example uh, of assembly language program in which we will see that how uh, a simple program written in high level language uh, can be converted into uh, assembly language. When uh, we were discussing uh, about the high level language and uh, low level language difference, we have seen that in high level language, we just write there uh, what is required and what to do. We uh, give instructions to computer while uh, if we see the approach of programming in low level language uh, in low level language we have to write what we require and there we have to write what uh, that objective can be how that objective can be required so we have to write both things we have to see both things that what is required and how that can be required so there is a difference of approaches uh, there is a difference of paradigm between high level language and low level language so here uh, we have a simple program uh, you can uh, think of uh, of it like written in any high level language the, this is pseudo code actually or you can think of it uh, like uh, in basic language program in basic language uh, it is written this is a simple for next loop in which we have three iterations and in these using these three iteration uh, a list uh, of three elements their numbers are being uh, summed and the sum is being uh, stored in total so uh, first time the value of counter will be one and the value of total which is zero at present total plus number counter counter is one so five plus zero five will be stored in total then uh, second iteration will be started the value of counter will be two at present the value of total is five five plus seven because the value of counter is two so number and second element is seven seven plus five twelve twelve will be stored in total and then uh, it will take it back to the start of the loop where the counter of 
the value of counter will become 3 and uh, the value of total at present is 12 12 plus 3 because the counter value is 3 and third element of the list ha is having 3 value so 12 plus 3 will become 15 and 15 again will be stored in total so this is how this simple program is working now we will see that how this simple program can be converted into uh, assembly language using different registers using accumulator index register and memory addresses this is the program which is given in your book here i have made uh, rectangles for different registers we have four registers uh, four two registers here accumulator and index register and these are the two uh, uh, memory addresses labeled mem memory addresses counter and total uh, we have studied about symbolic addressing in assembly language program symbolic addressing is also used so actually these are the memory addresses which have been given uh, some name you can understand like this okay so let's see the program here we have labels we have label loop number counter and total these are the labels which have been given to memory addresses these are the opcode i told you about mnemonics mnemonic can be divided into two parts opcode and operand opcode is the action which is to be applied on operand operand might be a label operand might be a number value or operand might be an uh, an address memory address here comments are written and these are very helpful for you in your program if it is given then you, you can take help from it we have uh, studied about different type of type of memory uh, addressing uh, those uh, memory addressing uh, are very important you should uh, try to understand uh, and clarify the concept of different memory uh, addressing types because uh, they will be used here in this program and the other programs which will be asked to you from assembly language so let's uh, try to dry run this program the first command is ldm ldm means uh, load immediate load immediate m stands for immediate load immediate means whatever value is written with it right that value will be stored in accumulator so zero is written here load zero into accumulator so this zero will be loaded in accumulator right then store total whatever value accumulator has that will be stored at the memory address which has been labeled as total so total will become zero then after that store counter whatever value accumulator has that will be stored in counter also after that load r load r means the value of the value in index register will be loaded so load r zero set index register to zero so right now it has nothing zero will be stored here now after setting all these memory addresses and registers the program is starting from here from memory address which has been labeled as loop so load x number it will see the address number here at number labeled uh, address 5 is stored and that will be indexed with the index register at present the value of index register is zero so at this memory address at this memory address zero will be added and from that address the value will be picked so because zero has been added so there will be no change it will take five from uh, this memory address and that will be stored in accumulator so previously the value of accumulator was zero now it will become five 
right after this add total whatever value accumulator is having it will be added with total and again will be stored in accumulator so at present the value of total is zero that will be added with uh, accumulator and it will be stored again in accumulator add total to accumulator so it will remain same because the value of total is zero then store it in total the value of accumulator will be stored in total so this value will be copied here right then increase index register the value of index register will be increased by one add one to the content of index register so here it will become 0 plus 1 1 then load direct counter right the value of counter is 0 and here direct addressing is being used so from counter from the counter the value will be picked and it will be stored in accumulator so accumulator will become zero again then increase accumulator add one to accumulator accumulator will become here then store counter this accumulator value will be stored in counter so this zero will become one then it will compare with three hash three means this is a decimal value three so it will compare the value of accumulator with three okay so they have, uh, the result will be true or false obviously this is false then the after this we have another uh, instruction that is jump if not equal to the result of the comparison is not equal to so if it is not equal to it will jump to loop so here we have this label loop at this position the program control will be transferred so this is the memory address now again load x the value of the index register will be indexed with number what is number this is the memory address one will be added because at present in index register we have one one will be added at the memory uh, location number and from there the value will be picked the data will be picked so at this memory address one will be added it means it will come here and seven will be picked and loaded in accumulator so accumulator will become seven then it will add to total the current value of total is 5 and the value of accumulator is 7 7 plus 5 12 and again it will be stored in accumulator so accumulator will become 12 then it will store it in total the value of 5 will be overwritten with the value of accumulator which is 12 then the value of index register will be increased by 1 it will become 2 then uh, from the memory location counter the value will be picked and loaded in accumulator so in counter we have 1 at this position we have one now and this one will be stored in accumulator so accumulator will become one right okay then after this the value of accumulator will be increased increased uh, accumulator that will become 2 then it will be stored in counter so counter will become 
two and it will compare the value of accumulator with three the value of accumulator is two and this is three so obviously this is not equal to so here it is written jump if not equal to loop so because this is not equal to so that's why it will jump to loop position again here load x number at present the value of uh, index register is 2 and the address of uh, address labeled with number will be indexed with 2 means 2 will be added to the address of number so when 2 is added it will come to this position and from here 3 will be picked and written in accumulator register then add total whatever value total has that will be added to accumulator and again stored in accumulator so total is 12 12 plus 3 15 so this 15 will be again stored here after this the value of accumulator will be stored in total so this will become 15 after this the value of index register will be increased so 2 will become 3 right then load direct counter the value of counter is 2 so what will happen at position it will go to counter and pick to and store in the accumulator then it will increase the value of accumulator to 3 1 will be added there so it will become 3 then it will store it in counter then 2 will become 3 here then it will compare with 3 3 is equal to 3 because the value of accumulator is 3 and here it is comparing with 3 so both are equal so jump not equal to condition jump if not equal to condition will become fail right because it is failing here that's why it will not it will not go to loop position and here the program will be ended so at present the value of accumulator is 3 the value of counter is 3 the total is 3 which is um, summing the value of the the list this is the list and the value of index register is also 3 so this is how this whole program will be executed and this is how the for next loop of any high level language will be implemented in assembly language so if in examination you are asked to uh, implement for next loop and you are asked to give some output using for next loop you should remember that how index register and how accumulator they both have been used and i hope that you have understood the concept of uh, how assembly language programs uh, are made to some extent and at least you have understood the concept that how for next loop will be implemented in assembly language thank you very much allah hafiz